Odom is speaking out and denying rumors that he ambushed his ex-wife Khloe Kardashian outside of a soul cycle in Beverly Hills. TMZ reports that the former basketball player says he is not the person they're trying to make him out to be, and that when Lamar confronted Khloe, they had previous communication to arrange a meeting, but she had a dramatic change of heart. Chloe reportedly acted surprised and visibly shaken when Lamar approached her, eventually audibly screaming and running away. But Lamar insists the meeting was arranged and doesn't know why she acted that way. He tells TMZ, I live in Las Vegas, so was there an address or a place given or I just guessed right? Did I just guess right where this girl may be? I know Chloe, so how would you think I ended up there? Chloe hasn't been vocal about the situation either, which is also part of the issue. Lamar tells TMZ, probably the most hurtful part, somebody should be calling up saying, hell no, that didn't happen. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. It's just not the truth. We'll see what Chloe's next move is, but Lamar says he'll air everything out if need be. So we know Blake Shelton is returning to be a judge and coach on The Voice, and we know Gwen Stefani is back in her coaching slash judging seat on The Voice too. So, how was your time off, guys? Oh, oh yeah. Wonder if anyone will use the voice to discuss the big, huge elephant in the room. Blake is fresh off his divorce from Miranda Lambert, and Gwen recently filed for divorce from Gavin Rossdale. Now, People Magazine reports that Gwen has been busy focusing on work, and Us Weekly says Blake, on the other hand, seems to have moved on from Miranda and is over it. Needless to say, there's no doubt that Gwen is probably happy to have Blake there to, well, voice their similar struggles in their personal lives. It just probably won't happen on camera, but it's a reason to tune in. Leave it to a country star like Blake to teach Gwen how to get back on the saddle. Kim Kardashian recently stopped by to visit a superfan in New Orleans while filming her show Keeping Up with the Kardashians. She surprised one of her biggest fans to celebrate her 21st birthday. But who are some other celebrities who go above and beyond for their fans? One example, Taylor Swift. Just a few weeks ago, she donated $50,000 to help pay for a little girl's medical bills. And Johnny Depp has been known to visit children's hospitals in his Captain Jack Sparrow costume to say hi to his littlest fans. Chris Pratt and Chris Evans did the same. And we think Anna Kendrick deserves a medal for this. Minutes after getting off a long flight, she patiently signed autographs for fans waiting for her at the airport. Meanwhile, Lady Gaga goes under the tattoo gun for her fans. She got this mother monster tattoo for them. And Justin Bieber will do just about anything for his believers, even go to prom with them. These celebs know how to treat a fan base right. You can't have a throwback Thursday and not reminisce about Britney Spears. Sure, she's living the dream today, but there was a time not long ago when things weren't going so smoothly. And we're not talking about the singer before she found fame, when she was just a young girl in Louisiana with dreams of superstardom. We want to throw it back to those difficult years when she got engaged to former backup dancer Kevin Federline. That marriage produced two kids, one which she almost dropped in front of paparazzi cameras, but ultimately ended in divorce. It was technically her second marriage. Back in 2004, she was married for two days to childhood friend Jason Alexander before annulling it. But she really hit rock bottom when she shaved her head and checked into rehab in Malibu. And then she was spotted around LA wearing wigs and doing late night fast food runs. Luckily, she turned things around and became one of the biggest acts in the world once again. And now that she has a residency in Vegas, was at the judges' table on X Factor, and is under a lifetime conservatorship, we bet she'll continue to make headlines. Only from now on, they'll be positive. Zara Phillips shared a good luck kiss with husband Mike Tyndall before competing in an annual Round the Island race at Aberdeen Asset Management Cows Week. Former Scotland Rugby Union player Gavin Hastings was also in tow, making the crew a sporting dream team. We're sure Gavin will be hoping for first place to ensure the prize fund gets to his chosen charity. Zara was glowing and fresh-faced, appropriately suited up in her sports gear. The Queen's granddaughter was joined by her husband for the Artemis Challenge, a 50-mile race around the Isle of Wight. The couple seemed as happy as ever after recently celebrating their fourth wedding anniversary. With rain and thunderstorms rolling in, we wonder if Zara's team will be winning the gold. 